Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things and remind you of all I have said to you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus showed himself to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Peter said to Jesus, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because Jesus said to him the third time, Do you love me? And Peter said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and to go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. After this, Jesus said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. The response of the psalm, we repeated, the Lord has set his throne in heaven. And actually, uh, in our church here, I like to point out to some of the arts that is shown. Uh, this is uh, the statue that we have, uh, uh, very center. Um, and so it shows uh, Jesus above the clouds, uh, Jesus uh, with the, the crown, and also the trophy of the victory, the scepter of the victory over sin and death, uh, the cross. So. Um, I won't uh, say more uh, than that, but maybe uh, you can ask the Lord to help you contemplate this mystery. Uh, actually, uh, the last uh, Sunday of the year is always uh, called King of the Universe. And this is obviously uh, Jesus Christ. And this is in the context today of our first reading uh, that uh, ends uh, with the word Emperor. And then uh, tomorrow we'll uh, keep uh, the story about the Emperor and one of the titles uh, of uh, the Emperor of Rome was actually Lord. And for us, uh, we know that there is only one Lord and Savior, and that he is Jesus Christ. And so this is the name that we should proclaim above all names. This is uh, the name at which, uh, in a few moments, uh, we will kneel. Um, and this is uh, the one who really uh, wants for us to put him at the center of our whole life. And uh, in the first reading uh, for the last uh, few weeks, uh, we hear mostly about St. Paul. Uh, St. Paul, who uh, had not always lived as a Christian. On the opposite, he was persecuting Christians. And uh, this is uh, how the Lord writes straight with crooked lines. So St. Paul, who became uh, one of uh, those that we read the most uh, in the New Testament. And then the Gospel today, a very beautiful one, one that uh, I find uh, very uh, dear in my own personal vocation, uh, one that was uh, shared with me at some point in times of difficulties, and this is uh, the calling again of Saint Peter, Simon Peter, and the question that Jesus asked uh, three times, do you love me? And so it is interesting to see how as well Paul and Peter complement each other, one preaching to the Gentiles, and the other one preaching mostly uh, to the Jewish uh, people. 
but as we were reading that uh, this morning, I was asking, uh, Lord, what do you want uh, to teach me today? And so I, I want to share some of what he wanted to teach me. He has a lot uh, to teach me uh, and, so, and every one of us. But uh, with the three times being asked the question, uh, Simon is hurt. This is what we heard. Uh, but Jesus uses that time as a, a time of reconciliation. First with himself, who is God, because uh, Peter has denied Jesus three times. Now he is proclaiming his faith three times, and Jesus is receiving that. And so first reconcile with God, but also with the body of Christ that he is called to be the head uh, as uh, the first pope. And uh, we hear at the end that uh, Saint uh, Simon Peter will die as a witness. And so Jesus is already prophesying that uh, he will go all the way uh, by being tied to a belt that he doesn't uh, really um, enjoys, but uh, with uh, the courage that the Lord is giving him, he who was locked in, now the Holy Spirit has unlocked uh, the power of service, the power of love, so much so that he will be able to say yes again and again and again, and uh, up to uh, shedding his blood. And the Lord himself is the one who did that, obviously, uh, in the most heroic way. And heroic is probably not uh, even uh, the best word to use. So God uh, decided to shed his blood out of love for us. He who uh, was calling Peter uh, to feed the sheep. Jesus is the one that we're about to receive in a few moments as the Lamb of God. And so let us ask uh, for that grace as well of the courage uh, and the wisdom that we need in our own lives uh, to say yes to the little sacrifices that the Lord is calling us to embrace and sometime uh, the bigger thing uh, that uh, he wants us to say yes to. Uh, sometimes it is not easy uh, and sometimes I first uh, don't say yes to all the invitations of the Lord and this is why I need to go back to him and ask for his mercy. God is wanting to shower us with his infinite love and mercy. So let us uh, just accept uh, that uh, beautiful uh, reality that the Lord, um, and even if we think about the context with St. Peter, uh, Peter was a bit impatient. Sometimes we also are impatient. And he was saying, do I need to forgive my brother seven times? And thank God that Jesus said 70 times seven because Peter himself needed more than seven and I too uh, need more forgiveness. And I will just end, and maybe uh, in your time after the Mass, uh, or any time that you come, you can do the Stations of the Cross. I know some people here who have uh, this uh, beautiful habit of, of doing. Um, and so I was just struck this morning by what tradition sometimes tells us, not necessarily scripture, but in the Stations of the Cross, there are 14, and three of them are falls of Jesus. And so it's interesting today uh, that uh, we have this uh, threefold question, do you love me? And the mission that is entrusted to St. Peter again and again and again. And uh, St. Peter who is called to feed the sheep, but uh, he who also needed this uh, food for the journey as he was uh, journeying all across and so let us ask for the Lord to really help us today in receiving this food for our own journey, uh, our own journey uh, towards the new Jerusalem, towards heaven, that we can inherit only through the mercy of God as uh, Saint Simon Peter uh, has received and as he is a witness for us to also say yes to receive. And so um, those three falls of Jesus are beautiful. And many times I like to think about the second fall when I need to go to confession. Why? Because uh, in my human weakness, probably I'll fall again. And so in the three falls of Jesus, we have the first one, then we have uh, the second one, and Jesus probably knew that he would fall a third time. And he knows that we are weak as human beings. And so on the second one, even though he knew he would probably fall again, he decided to stand up. And uh, just uh, Mother Mary uh, wants us to also stand up again and again. And there is this beautiful scene in the movie, The Passion of Christ, uh, that we see 
that Jesus had, has fallen. I'm not sure if it's the second one, but that he sees his mother. And this gives him the courage to stand up again and to accomplish the mission until the end. And so, Mother Mary, help us uh, to also, as poor sinners as we are, uh, to imitate uh, St. Peter and to say, Yes, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Amen.